Welcome back to Oracle of Ages Cursed, everybody! So, my microphone might sound a bit different because I can't get my other one to, uh, that I normally used to work, but we will not let that get us down. Last episode we beat my favorite dungeon, so today we're going to head back to South Lina. Because we've got some stuff to do for the trading side quest. So first off, I just want to make people laugh. There's got to be an easy way. Give him the cheesy mustache? Yeah. What a hilarious mustache! It's a riot! Okay, buddy, I'm going to teach you the funniest gag I know. Okay, here goes. You learned the funny joke. Will you be a big hit? Well, Link can't talk, so probably not. And my rupee count is still too low to get a potion. There we go. Hi, hi there, little sneaky. Wow. Alright. Do I have any reins to appraise? One. The Light Rain Level 1, Sword Beams at minus 2 hearts. That's what the rain is. Ooh, I hadn't had that one yet. Yeah, eventually we'll be able to shoot Sword Beams out. In fact, that's what I'm working on right now. But first we need to travel back in time. This trading sequence is my top priority because I do not want to run into Maple until I get a certain item. Okay, good. I should be safe. Maple will only appear on certain screens. Also, I should come in here. Magical ring. What kind of ring it is is a secret. 100 rupees. Yeah, why not? And we'll get a Gasha Seed while we're at it. And we have sold him out. So, the place where we get the funny joke in the future, if we go in the house here... Who are you? Well, welcome to the darkness of my troubles. I'm so depressed. I want to laugh until I forget everything. Then I'd be happy. Huh. Tell him the funny joke? You bet! This is gonna knock your socks off, kid. So there's a sailor who walked into the bar, and he walked up to the guy, uh, the bartender, and he noticed there were slabs of meat hanging from the ceiling. And he's like, why are those there? And the bartender was like, well, that's the steak challenge. If you can, like, jump up and touch the beef, then you get free drinks for an hour. But if you can't, then everyone else has to get a free drink from you. So, do you want to do it? No, I don't think so. The stakes are too high. Huh? What's that? Huh? Oh, that's so funny. I forgot to laugh. Thanks. Thanks to you, I can be as depressed as I want to be. You can take any book you want from that bookshelf. And we got the touching book! It's a sad story. Oh no. I didn't know Mother Free had a book form. Yeah, this is what I want. So, next time we run into Maple, she'll ta- Ah, uh, we'll be able to trade her that story. Point the gasha seed there. I wonder what happens if we warp back to the present from here. Oh, I think we'll be on the beach. Ho ho. With the flippers, we still can't swim in the ocean, which is weird, but... Uh... You know how it is. Oh, also there should be more trading stuff I can do for Oracle of Seasons. Yep, this woman here. Aren't you Artie? I knew we'd meet. How'd you like to hear a useful tip? Okay. 
You know the clock shop in Holodrum's Horon Village, right? Dig around in the back of it. A friend of mine is there. Tell my friend this secret I'm about to tell you. Understand? Sure. Remember this. That. Got it? Yep. That's it. That gets you a really, really, really good item. I'm not going to get it until the very, very end of my playthrough, though. Because I want to treat this as basically just a regular Oracle of Ages playthrough. So I don't want to get any of the special stuff from the Link playthrough until I start doing the stuff that are actually Link playthrough exclusive. Someday I will travel the lands and save the world's peoples, like my hero Artie. So can you give me some advice? What will make me mightier? Training daily? Yeah. I see! I've learned a lot. Also, play Mega Man. I think you'd be great at it. Do 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 do. Hey dude, how are you doing? Is it me or is that tower getting bigger? It's uh, not just you, dude. That's kind of the main shtick of the game. Oh, that reminds me. We're going back to Crescent Island briefly. So that tree has grown. Unfortunately, we can't actually get there anymore. But I want to go back to the past. Remember, the Tune of Currents will only work if you're in the past. It will not help you get to the past. So what I want to do is go in here. Because now that we've got the switch hook, I believe there is something we can get. Maybe that's too far. Stop jumping off the cliff, Link! Okay, nope, never mind. Maybe I'll cut that part out of the video. Well, I need more Gale Seeds, so let's go back to Symmetry Village. Maybe we'll meet Maple as well. Yep! Watch out, watch out, Maple's coming for you! Hey! That book! That's the touching book I need to take to Syrup! Why do you have it? Let me read it! What? Oh my... Oh! Oh, ah, ah, how touching! You got the magic ore! It cuts a mean wake! Thanks! It was good! Take this, it's the first one I made. Syrup never gave me any compliments on it. I'll keep this book. Um, okay. Well... Oh shoot, we actually need to take a time portal back to the past, because that ore we need to give to Rafton. He's looking for an ore. Oh shoot, I should not have spent all of my money at the advance shop. I should have gone to the secret shop, which you can get now that you've got the Tune of Currents. I'm trying to remember... Actually... Never mind, I don't think any fiend in that shop would help me at all. Except, like, one fiend, and it's very minor. I'll check, though. So to get to the secret shop, what you have to do... Go down here, stand right here, and play the Tune of Currents. You have to stand right here, though. And now we can go into the back shop. Yep, this is what I thought. Alright, so there are three fiends here. There's a bigger rain box, which will not help us at all because we have to wear the curse ring at all times. A gaseous seed, which is crazy overpriced, and then a piece of heart. So this is really nice if you're on a regular playthrough, but... 
Not very helpful for me. Hopefully this will be like the last filler episode kind of where I'm just doing side quest stuff. Because hopefully at the end of this episode I will have finished the trading sequence and then we can pretty much just go on to, through the rest of the story as usual. There's not a whole lot we need to go out of our way to get after that. Alright, Rafton. Hey, how goes the rafting? I'm thinking of entering a raft race, but I haven't been able to find a decent ore to race with. Give him the magic ore? Yep. Whoa, that ore! It looks like a toy, but I like it! Thanks! In exchange, I know! How's this? Lazily playing guitar while gazing at the moon is so nice. And we get the sea ukulele. It has a sweet sea scent. Well, alright then. And I know it, we're really close anyways, but I'm warping to the south shore. It's only a couple screens away, but it'll be faster in the long run. Alright. So we haven't really explored this part of the map yet, and this is what we're going to be exploring in the next world. Loin Ridge Base is that way, Lina Village is that way. But now that we've got the switch hook, we can go down here. It's Old Man Zora, and man is he old. How I miss the smell and sound of the sea. Give him the sea ukulele, and I just realized he is using the cane of Samaria. That ukulele has the spirit of the sea in it. That smell, that sound, that's good of you to respect your elders, kids. I see you're on some adventure. Well, I give you something old. This is the hero sword that a great hero gave my ancestors long ago. You got the broken sword. Hey, it's broken! What's that? It's broken? Uh, <clears throat> Ah, um, what a great sound. Yeah. So we've got to get the sword repaired, but trust me, it is worth getting that sword repaired, as A, it deals way more damage, B, it allows you to shoot sword beams, which do not get halved by the cursed playthrough, and finally, it allows you to shatter pots just with your sword. Unfortunately, in order to repair the sword, we have to go all the way back to Patch. So... Might as well do that. So yeah, we gotta climb all the way back up the restoration wall. This is not going to be fun. Still, I know the path pretty well now. Also, because I've solved all of the puzzles, like, before, like, moving the floodstone, moving the beanstalk sprout, all that stuff, climbing the restoration wall was quite a bit faster the second time. Stupid tech tights. All in all, I'd say, out of, like, the three overworld maps, Oracle of Ages, Oracle of Seasons, and Link's Awakening, I like the Oracle of Seasons overworld map the best. Oracle of Ages is pretty good, too, though. It's just, there, there are a lot of dead ends, whereas Oracle of Seasons, there are very few of those. Or, like... Well, on the map, it looks like I'm very, very close to, like, the Deku Forest and Ambi's Palace, but I'm actually very far away. Space, like, it takes forever to traverse there. Uh, 
I should probably use just regular scent seeds more. More is just ammo for my seed shooter. I'm not dying to an Octorok. Also, because there are falling rocks up ahead, I'd better find some hearts. Well, that works. And that's why I dug around for some hearts. I'm gonna do the same thing up here because I want to have full HP when I do the patch challenge because it's a bit harder the second time. Fairy! I kill a fairy and get full HP. Logic. I haven't seen you in a while. If you've come all the way up the wall, you must need something fixed. But my fun, er, delicate ceremony is more difficult now. Do you wish to try? Yep. Heh <laughs> I see. You want me to repair that broken sword. My restoration ceremony might fix it. Wanna try? Yep. You are willing to try? Very well. Follow me. Heh <laughs> He seems trustworthy. Let's see... Shield might actually help for this. Welcome to Patch's Crazy Cart! Will you partake in my ceremony? Yep. Very well. Do you wish to hear the rules? No. Let the ceremony begin! So it seems pretty much exactly the same as it was before. The difference being, yeah, there are now more beetles. Like, once we kill these, more will appear. Oh boy, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Back. No! No! The ceremony failed, but your broken sword seems to have survived. Try again sometime. Alright, so the shield is terrible, because it still moves you backwards. Guess I'll get Rock's Fever. Thing? De Ephib! De Ephila! What the heck? Okay. I do not know what language he's speaking in. If he's speaking a language at all. Bom bom, bom bom, bom ba dum, bom ba dum, bom bom. Make sure the minecart is completely off of the junction square when you uh, step off the button, because it's even if it's even remotely on top of it, it will change onto the sword. Take that! Yes! Hmm, <laughs> my ceremony succeeded. You are talented. You got through this trap, er, ceremony. Here's your broken sword, as good as new. As usual, I am perfect. Here you go. You got the sacred noble sword! Yes! Bring me anything else that needs fixing, and I'll prepare my trap, er, ceremony. Yeah, we're not seeing you again. Now we can shatter pots with our sword! and shoot sword beams. Only when we're at full HP, though. Also, if we play the Tune of Currents right here... Actually, nothing really interesting happens. It's a blank screen that's impossible to reach any other way. I guess the waterfall effect is pretty cool. You jerk. Stupid Dark Nut. Also, if memory serves, do I have a Ganshi tree up here that needs picking? Ricky, come to me. And Ricky died in one hit. Thanks, Ricky. Well, that seems like a good spot to stop anyways. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie, and I hope to see you for the next episode. Have a great day, and God bless.